Thanks a lot. Every two seconds in the United States, someone needs blood, which is why blood donations are so critical. And you can do your part this Saturday at the Community Ambulance Blood Drive. Joining us now with more on that is Caitlin Medina of Community Ambulance. Caitlin, thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Summertime is a particular time of need when it comes to blood donations. Why is that? So blood donations in Nevada are already somewhat on the lower end. Mm -hmm. And during the summer, people are out traveling. They're going in, you know, visiting different places and not want to stay in this heat. Mm -hmm. So Vegas and Nevada tend to be a little bit lower just because people are out traveling and we have a lot more accidents that happen during the summer with tourists coming in, boating accidents, car accidents, all that type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, not a good combination then because donations are lower than normal exactly. and the need is higher than yes. normal. Okay, so all the more reason to come out this Saturday, community ambulance, and we're going to talk about time and place. Uh, also, donors at this event are going to get a little goodie bag and some snacks, which you know comes with blood donations quite often. But what might not be talked about quite as often is the health benefits of donating blood. So health benefits, uh, it helps with heart disease. Whenever you donate blood, your body already starts to recreate new ones, so it kind of gives you more blood cells, a little bit more flexible ones because they're new and fresh. It also allows you to um, actually burn some calories. You know, that's right. always a good thing. And the best part about it is it saves a life. Yeah, and that's, of course, the most important. But it is interesting to note that there are some good things for those who give the blood mm -hmm. as well. And, also, and honestly, you also get about like a $300... I think it's around $300 blood test because they, they run through the blood and any mm -hmm. results that they have, they'll contact you with them afterwards. Wow. So you could discover that maybe you have a problem you didn't know about just by donating blood because they do obviously have to screen the blood to make sure it's, exactly. it's good enough to be donated. And are there particular types of blood that are needed more than others? Of course, everyone is encouraged to donate, but there are certain types that are needed more often. Absolutely. So O is one that I think a lot of people hear about that is needed. And in reality, it, it saves a lot of different lives with being able, it's the universal blood type that we have. Mm -hmm. So O negative is actually the one that we use for emergency transfusions because everyone can accept O negative. Okay, O negative, especially if you're watching this, go to Community Ambulance this Saturday. Uh, it, are, some people obviously are scared when it comes to needles and giving blood. They may faint at the sight of blood. What would you tell those folks? Well, no one likes to get poked. I yeah. mean, let's just be honest with that. But honestly, it's a really quick procedure. Red Cross is awesome with their, their people. They're very efficient. It'll, it'll be quick and over before you know it. And you get a snack. And you get a snack, absolutely. All right. Caitlin from Community Ambulance, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Kendall. The Community Ambulance Blood Drive is this Saturday from 10 to 2. You can just go to the Community Ambulance website, communityambulance.com, for more information.